morning we've got loads going on at the yard today so the other day i was asked to explain more about the horses characters their personalities a bit so i thought we'd do this one today so here we're going to start with willow he is a about 15 one welsh section d all my horses are welsh section d's but they've all got completely different personalities about them so willow is extremely grumpy on the ground um in this stable and everything it's um he's miserable absolutely miserable but we just ignore that because there's nothing nasty in it he just tries to act miserable um but when it comes to the ridden and the learning stuff his attitude is absolutely amazing he is so talented and picks everything up so quickly that you're asking him to do so we just ignore the grumpiness on the ground we can overlook that one can't we baby but um come with he's not spooky he's not nasty he's not horrible to ride in any way at all not strong but again when you get to shows there is two sorts of willow that you will get you will either get um one that he will do everything that you ask him to do but he put absolutely no effort into it whatsoever it will feel like the whole the show everything is just gonna look a mess um but when you look back on videos it looks absolutely fine but he makes you work for it or the other willow that you can get at a show is where not that he tries to overtake um because he was he will always listen he always does what he tells you what i tell him to but you can get the get him sometimes where he's like yeah we can do this i've got this and i'm like no just wait for me a little bit come back and uh, yeah he puts his power and his all into it so but yes he's an absolutely amazing horse not loving i'm afraid as i say because he's so he's a mummy's boy he wants me all the time but um yeah he's just grumpy grumpy on the ground but we live with that for what he can do in the show ring you got something in your eye and then here we've got champ he's a six-year-old buckskin welsh section d stands about 14 3 15 hands um he is bold as brass he is houdini he's bonkers he's nuts uh, 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 come back if there's trouble going on anywhere in the yard he is involved he's the most mischievous horse i have ever met in my life he will regularly get himself out the head collar undo lead ropes he can open gates he can just walk through fencing um his nightmare absolute nightmare but i wouldn't have him any other way he's got so much character about him and then when it comes to the ridden he is bold as brass nothing phases him highly energetic and you will get a lot of uh, not so many bucks but you will get a lot of dancing around but there is nothing nasty in it at all. It is just highly, him being highly entertaining himself. Um, but then we've only taken him to a few shows and you can see that he does lack a little bit of confidence at shows and stuff like that, but we haven't done much with him. So I'm sure that will come with time and then we'll see his drama and antics that come with that as well. But yes, he's, he's got so much character and personality about him he is loving he's so nice and yeah he's a very loving horse he always wants some sort of fuss and attention so but he's brilliant he's perfect and then when you're <laughs> training him ridden he's he's a quick learner um but well i say quick learner he likes to try whatever you've taught him really quickly and of course it all goes wrong because he never listened in the first place but then he'll try again and he'll get it right so um i do love his attitude to learning he's um 
keeps me on my toes, definitely. But he's a good boy, he really is. I see he's trying to undo my zip now. And then here we've got Donut, who's just a yearling, chestnut roan, Welsh D stallion. Um, I plan to keep him as a stallion, hopefully. But of course, him being young, we haven't found much out about him yet. He's, um, well, he is a quick learner. What we've been trying to teach him so far, he's just taken in so quickly. Um, he's the most loving horse ever. He just wants cuddles all the time but nothing spooks him. Things can go on around him and he's not fussed by anything. He's generally got a nice laid back attitude. Um, he's young, so he does do bits, but he's not, he doesn't seem highly strung like Champ or anything like that, but time will tell. We will see, but yeah, he will stand all day long for kisses and cuddles and to be fussed and groomed. Um, but yeah, so we'll uh, see what his character is like in time. Do a few more bits with him and we'll find out a bit more. But at the moment, he's absolutely lovely. Aren't you? What are you doing? <laughs> he's such a good boy. He's showing himself off now. Don't you my jacket. And then here we've got Gambler, who is a black roan, Welsh Section D, and he is uh, eight years old. He is the most laid back Welsh D I've ever met in my life. As long as he's fed, he doesn't care about anything else. Um, not spooky at all. If anything does make him jump, he will literally canter one stride, then stop, because he can't bother to put the effort in. Um, amazing horse, He's, he is lovely. He's brilliant for my young son because he's just, he's safe as hell as is. He's absolutely perfect. Um, but as I say, he can't be bothered to put any effort into anything. Look, you're in a mess. Um, he's so slow and steady and uh, he is nice. He does like a fuss and attention every now and now and then but other than that he's he's happy for you to just leave him be he's like eel really he is very much he'd do the bare minimum of what he can get away with doing but he's nice he's um short and chunky he's only about 14 one in height um perfect again for the kids but yeah he's uh he does everything, rides, drives, gym calmers. He's not very good at that, he's a bit slow. Um, jumps, but he just does everything at his own pace. He's uh, extremely slow and just doesn't put much effort in, but I can't fault him for a Welsh D. He's an amazing horse and perfect for my, my child to learn on, so. Um, but yeah, Welsh Dees are renowned for being fire-breathing dragons, lots of energy, highly strong and everything, and he certainly isn't. He is um, a very well-bred Welsh Dee, just a lazy one. I'm sure if, as Lewis moves up the levels, we can then train him to move up the levels as well with Lewis, but yeah, he's, uh, he tries to do the least amount of work that he can get away with. But he's a good old boy. We do like him. But that's the end of this video. If you want to follow along with their journeys um, as we go along, then please like and subscribe. Oh, don't eat it. <laughs>